Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. As I've been designing, I've noticed that it can be very frustrating to edit the banner image that it's friendly on a mobile device, especially if you want your whole image to show up as it resizes automatically for mobile. Um, it can cut off certain aspects of the image. And so in a previous video, I showed you how to change that image to a completely different image when viewed from a mobile device so that you can change the image to maybe a vertical, vertically oriented image um, just to be better for the mobile. Uh, but it is different for Squarespace 7.1. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the banner image to be more mobile friendly in Squarespace 7.1. So the first thing you need to do is get an image uh, that you want to be displayed on banner so that it is vertically oriented then what you're going to do is on your Squarespace 7.1 template, you're going to click Edit. And you're going to add in that image just in the header space. Don't worry, it will be deleted later. Um, this is just to get the image actually into your media folder. So hover over top a section, click and add an image. Doesn't really matter where and you're gonna upload the image here. So I have just an image I found on Unsplash. And then before you click apply, hover over this image, right click, and select open image in a new tab. Then you can click apply and save. Then go to Design, Custom CSS, and copy and paste the media query posted below this video. What this media query does is it makes sure that the code we're applying only applies when the website is viewed from a mobile device. So I've also added in the space for tablet if you want to adjust it for tablet devices. In Squarespace 7.1, it only gives us the option to view for mobile, but if you want to add in some code for tablet, you can in between these two lines. We're going to add our code in between these two lines. So in order to make sure our code is working, I want you to go up to the top and select to view from a mobile device and then copy and paste the code below this video for the mobile version. Now you shouldn't see anything happen yet because we need to apply this code to your specific website. So what you're going to need to do is inspect the code of the back end. So hover over top of your banner section, right click and select inspect. This works best on a Chrome, if you have it open in Chrome. Then you're going to scroll up until you see this big block of text appear. And when you hover over top, you should see your page highlighted, like it's showing in my screen. So you're gonna to scroll to the very top of this and you'll find a body ID collection and then a bunch of random uh, letters and numbers. So double click that so that you have that collection ID and copy it. That you're going to replace all of where it says collection ID with what you just found in your code. So it should say hashtag collection. You notice that this made all of the images not display, so display none. Go to the next section, make sure there is a space between it and the next um, class there, and you should see an image pop back up. Um, because now it's asking all of the Squarespace block images to show. The next section, you shouldn't see anything happen yet because we haven't applied the URL for the background image. So in order to do that, you're going to go to the tab where your image opened up, copy the entire URL, and paste that between the quotation marks here, so where it says image URL, you're gonna paste that URL in there. And you should see your image pop up in the background. Click Save. And now you're gonna click on Edit. Now 
and you can now delete this image. Click Save. And you should see that you have your desktop image pop up here. And when you click over to mobile, it changes the background to your new image that you added. Now, depending on the image size that you put in, you may find that you need it to be longer than what the image is showing. So you'll notice here that my section actually ends at this uh, lighter brown color, but my image ends a little bit wider. And that's because it filled up to the width of the image and the height of my section is longer than the height of my background image. So if that's your website as well and you want it to stretch the full height, um, knowing that the background may zoom in a little bit, not getting the full width. Um, so in other words, you, the height is more important to you than filling up the width. Then you're going to adjust your CSS with the following. So go to custom CSS and scroll down to where you see it says background size. So at background size 100%, that means it's filling the width and the height will just fill to whatever the height of the image is. You can change that to be the following code. Background size auto 100%. And what that does is it fills the height to be 100% and asks the width to scroll in slightly to fit that. Um, so if that's yours as well, you want it to fit the entire height, then just add in this auto uh, word in front of the 100%. Click save and you're done.